For our next example, we're going to be considering a very similar function to our last one. The only difference here is really our starting condition for our loop, which is that we're starting i at 7. So let's just get right to it. The inside takes constant time. We need to have a table with the iteration and the value of the variable. Let's maybe clean this handwriting up a little bit. That's iteration. It starts at 7, and then we're multiplying that by 2 every time. I'm actually going to do this in a slightly different way than you might. I'm going to write that as 7 times 2, then as 7 times 4. And then after k iterations, it's going to be 7 times 2 to the k. You're allowed to do that arithmetic and write that as 14 and 28 if you wanted, but it's usually easier to not do the arithmetic and just combine what you're modifying. So in this example, that would be only multiplying what we're, where we're or multiplying by in the loop rather than multiplying it by the initial condition. We can tend to make things easier. So this stops when the thing that we got from the formula, 7 times 2 to the k, is equal to our stopping condition, which is again n. Let's solve that for k. I don't know why it gave me a circle. That's going to be n. k is equal to, divide by 7, take log base 2. So this is log base 2 of n over 7. I'm going to do a bit of arithmetic here just to prove a point. k equals log base 2 of n minus log base 2 of 7. If you have division inside of a log, it is the same as subtraction outside of the log. And if we look at this, that's just log of n minus some number. That number is between 2 and 3. It's closer to 3. That's not going to affect anything. So maybe we say k is about log base 2 of n. That is a common practice to get rid of sort of these just nonsense subtractions you have at the end because they're really not affecting anything. And we've already conceded by only setting our stopping condition equal to n and not solving some other more generic inequality there that we are might be off by a couple of small constants. So this is, should not affect anything in our runtime. So t of n is equal to c times k, the number of iterations that we're doing, which is just log base 2 of n. And if you wanted to be specific, you would include the minus log base 2 of 7. It's not going to affect anything. So t of n is in theta 